What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre the Brew Daniels. Here's more news. Happy Tuesday to you all. Oh, the lolly. We have something really, really, really awesome to discuss. Now, this is, of course, all speculation. None of this is real, but this is just something that I would love to see happen. And that would be a Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Now, I want to give a special shout out to What Now Nerds for creating this fan art map. I think this map is really cool. I really like it. And I'm ready. I'm ready. Look, I went to go see the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's a whole lot of fun. It's great. I haven't had this much fun in the cinema in quite some time. Um, at this point of the recording, this film has made over $700 million. So the money is there. Um, I... I'm excited for what can actually happen next. Now, of course, I'm also a fan of the uh, Sonic movies that came out recently, and they're great, but does Sega really have the legendary enough characters to make a universe out of? I personally don't think so, but um, Nintendo definitely has the roster. So I think, and I think people are ready. I think people are ready for this big time. So I want to go over this little fan this this fan map that was put together by what now nerds once again shout outs to have the Legend of Zelda come out in 2024. I think that's pretty cool, and I think the Legend of Zelda can be shot kind of like um, like a Samurai Jack type thing because you know Link's not a verbal character, but you know everybody else around him talks and stuff. I think it'd be shot that way. Um, not a whole lot of. Uh, not a whole lot of dialogue, but a lot like the visuals to tell the story. I think that would be really, really cool. I would like that. I'm also um, uh, Metroid. Now, I love Metroid. I love Samus Aran. Um, a lot of the newer games have kind of gotten past me. Um, a couple of folks have been asking me to play some of the newer ones, and I think I might have to make some time to do that. But I love Samus. I think she's a great protagonist. Um, the Samus Aran suit is great. I would love to see just like a, a sci-fi horror type you know animated form of this i think that would be really cool with uh, um um maybe maybe she crashes or something like, like, like just take the original metroid game and just kind of put it um on maybe, maybe she's still doing the whole bounty hunting like I, you can't go wrong with a metroid movie i think that'd be great here's one of my personal favorites um tentatively 2025 star fox i love star fox i think is one of my favorite I guess that would be considered flight simulator shooters. I guess I really love it. It's great. Um, I think this junk can just just be um, a space odyssey, like Star Trek or something. I think that would be great. Or I'm um, like Battlestar Galactica. I think that will work out so well, I, and I think that would be really really dope. Now Kirby. Now I was never a huge fan of Kirby, um, but like have a Dreamland story. Maybe it can just be something very colorful for the kids. Um, that would be, you know, just something fun and goofy. I think that would be nice. I think the kids would eat that up big time. I, I, I think that would work out really, really well. And then 2026, Donkey Kong. Now, come on. Come on. Donkey Kong's appearance in Super, uh, Super Mario Bros. was top tier. Um, I would love to see a Donkey Kong movie. Heck, do a Donkey Kong Country movie. Get Diddy, Cranky, Funky Kong, all them jokers. Like, just get everybody in there. Daisy. And I don't know, I, I guess, you know beef with uh king k rule you know and i think that would be cool you could just oh oh my god make that like a like a like a um not a musical but like uh i'm kind of retarded dang it what's the word for that whatever action musical who cares rock opera rap opera whatever i think that would be really cool i think a lot of people would be into it. i think it would be really dope i think it'd be really really cool and then, at, I guess, we're rounding out the year, a Super Smash Brothers movie. Count me in. You get everybody back together. You get the Mario Brothers. You get Link and Zelda and Samus Aran, Star Fox, Kirby, Donkey Kong and crew. And everybody faces the master hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be Chef's Kiss. I would love to see that. Then introduce maybe some of the Fire Emblem characters, which would be a little extensive. And maybe Ped and, um, you know, all the other characters from the from the mythos i think that would be top freaking tier so like i said i'm fired up now granted there's been no announcement this is all just speculation this is all just fan speak fan thought fan speak <laughs> and i think it will be a lot of fun i just think that this like i am hook line and sinker for the nintendo verse if that is to happen 
Nintendo did a great job with the Mario Bros. movies. Illumination, they did so, such a fantastic job. I'm all in. So let me know. What do you think? Would, would you like to see a Nintendo verse? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd definitely like to hear your thoughts on that. Little housekeeping trouble. The rhythm within the series is done, and you can get them at spinwiz.com, the spinwiz app, or ne1world.com. There'll all be links in the description section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. You can always download my first issue for absolutely free at spinwiz.com. So that's all I got for today. Follow me on all those dope social media platforms you see over there and do all those great YouTube things like comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, guys, it's been awesome, and I'll catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the Spinwiz app and check out my comic series, Trouble. It was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish. So whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again and check it out.